Welcome back everybody. Allowing players the opportunity to pick and choose how they want to play is a great way to customize their experience and encourages replay. In shooters, weapon pickups allow for limited weapon runs, choosing how difficult you want to play through to be, and experimenting with crazy weapon combinations. So, let's make some weapon pickups of our own in Unity. Let's crack on. Continuing on from our previous video, we successfully created three unique weapon types, our machine gun, tri-laser, and spread gun. Let's set up our scene so we can create a cool weapon pickup and swap system. First, simply create some weapon pickups. Mine I created from a sprite sheet, which you can download from a link in the description. And all we need to do is add a box collider 2D to them and make sure they are a trigger because we want the player to interact with them. When the player collects a weapon pickup, what we want to happen is we want the current weapon to be replaced with a new one. We will do this by deleting the current weapon and instantiating a new one in its place. In order to do that, we need to have a reference for a transform with which to instantiate the object. And that will be the current position our weapons are already at. So rather than create a new object and position it ourselves, just take any weapon object, duplicate it, let's rename it to weapon slot, and this will be the position we will instantiate our new weapon. We don't need a child of fire point, so go ahead and delete that just like so. Next, we want to add some tags to our player and weapon game objects. So go ahead from the tag drop down add the tag of player for the player and for our free weapons the tag of weapon if you need to create your own tag simply click add tag hit the plus and you can create your own custom tag so make sure they are all tagged appropriately job done and of course in order to instantiate a game object we need it to be a prefab so in the prefabs folder go ahead and create a prefab for each of our three weapons, just like so. And we no longer need these in our scene, so go ahead and delete the weapons. Job done, leaving just the weapon slot as a child of the player. As this is not a weapon, we do not need the weapon controller script, so go ahead and just remove that component like so. Speaking of which, if you've been following along with this mini tutorial series, you will know that in our spread controller and weapon controller script, we're making a reference to the player as the parent game object of the weapon in order to get its local scale on the X axis. So we know if we're shooting left or right. Now the new parent will be the weapon slot. So we will not be able to read the local scale of the player. The player game object now becomes the root game object. So, all we need to do is change parent in our spread controller and weapon controller script to root in order to read the local scale of the player. If that does not apply, no problem. Let's carry on. Next, let's go ahead and create two new C sharp scripts, one called weapon pickup, the other called weapon swap. We can apply the weapon pickup script to our free weapon pickups and let's add the weapon swap to the player, just like so. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and open up our weapon swap script. So for our variables, we will need a public transform, of course, for our weapon slot, and a public game object for what is our active weapon. Then in the start function, we want to make sure that whatever our active weapon is, gets instantiated. We don't want to go into our game unequipped. So we will create a variable called weapon that will equal instantiate, then in the brackets, what is our current active weapon at the weapon slot transform dot position and the weapon slot transform dot rotation. We also want to make sure that the weapon is a child of the weapon slot object. So we'll set the parent as weapon dot transform dot parent equals the weapon slot dot transform. So whatever active weapon you choose by default will load and instantiate at the start of our game. 
When we collect a weapon pickup, we want to replace our current active weapon with that new replacement weapon. So let's remove void update. Instead, let's create a new public void called update weapon. In the brackets, we'll state a game object that we will call new weapon. Inside this method, we can state that we want the active weapon to equal that new weapon game object that will be held by the weapon pickup. And of course, we want to instantiate that new weapon. So our variable weapon, same line of code as a start function, equals instantiate our active weapon, which will be our new weapon. Go ahead, save that. Then let's head into our weapon pickup script. In the weapon pickup script, we only need one variable, that of course being the weapon we want it to hold. So punch in public game object weapon to give. Then we can go ahead and delete void start and void update and replace it with a void on trigger enter 2D, collider 2D, other. And what is that other game object? Well, we'll create an if statement. If other dot game object dot tag is equal to player, what do we want to happen? Well, we want to swap the player's active weapon with our weapon to give. So inside we'll punch in other.gameObject.getComponent weapon swap. So we'll get the weapon swap component of that player of a game object. Specifically the update weapon from the weapon swap script. And inside it's asking for that game object we defined as new weapon to replace the active weapon. And of course, that here will be the weapon to give held within our weapon pickup. When we pick up a new weapon, we of course want to delete the active weapon we want to replace. We don't want to have two weapons at the same time. So we will say destroy game object dot find game object with tag weapon and that will delete the current active weapon and of course we want to destroy this weapon pickup object as well so destroy game object hit save let's head back into unity once everything has compiled go ahead and select your weapon slot and apply it to the weapon swap script and Whichever active weapon you want to start with, by default, I'm going to go with my MG. So I'll add my machine gun in there like so. Then we can go ahead and fill our weapon pickups with the weapon we want to give. So I'm going to go with the MG for that one. I'm going to go with the spread gun and my tri laser. Once everything's set up, Go ahead, hit play. When we start the game, we have our default weapon loaded. If we collect the MG pickup, we still have the MG. Pick up the spread shot, we now have the spread shot. And pick up the tri laser, we now have the tri laser. There we go. That's one way to do a nice, simple weapon pickup and swap system. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out our content. I do hope you're enjoying learning game dev with us and having fun on your projects. If you have any questions, do feel free to let us know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Until next time, have fun, keep learning, and I will see you soon.